heavy wearing all this stuff and having 4.6 gallons and the wind has just been doing this so i'm hoping that i get a cycle from the south right where i need it time to hook in all right i got off the ground didn't get a chance to record it but that's okay i was in a rush to get a really good headwind here we are climbing out real slow because it's sinky been in this bowl but on our way got started flying towards the tail end of the day so the thermals were dying off here this is a helicopter that actually kind of inspired me to become a helicopter pilot it's our uh, local uh, medevac helicopter whenever you guys see me flying this area I'm flying kind of in the Blue Ridge Mountains which is uh, considered some of the oldest mountains in the world actually uh, definitely top three oldest mountains in the United States. It's a lot of gear to carry around right there. This is Blue Ridge Parkway. The Galaxy S23 Ultra's 3x zoom just seems to be the most crisp of any of the settings. But you can wrap around and follow the parkway all the way up to Mount Mitchell, which I'm doing in this clip right here. I'm following it all the way to the southern end of the Black Mountains, which includes Mount Mitchell here, right there. People are going to see this and say, Mark, you have nowhere to land. Well, actually, I'm going into the wind now. I have some spots behind me that if my engine dies, I can simply turn around and uh, grab a tailwind and go pretty fast that way. I'm pointing at Mount Mitchell right there, highest mountain uh, east of the Mississippi. So it's pretty cool being able to pass by that. It was a cold flight and um, nothing like being able to make ice cubes in flight. Uh, the hose didn't quite freeze, but ice cubes were forming right at the mouthpiece. This is Mountain Air Airport. I've flown there before, it's pretty cool. And this is the northern end of the Black Mountains. And right here, I thought this shadow was really cool. That was being casted by the mountains because <laughs> it was square. Kind of strange. I'm pointing at my campsite coming up here. And here it is, even closer. Finally made it. Look at the shadows off the mountains, man. Uh, some tall mountains right there for the area. And uh, this is kind of a close-up of where I'm going to land and set up camp and uh, you'll see my campsite right here uh, basically land there set up a tent absolutely incredible spot it is dead quiet up here I mean, I was not expecting it to be this gorgeous up here. I had seen pictures, but this is incredible. It's like a playground up here for what we do. And look at this, it just, I'm hoping the GoPro got my landing, but this just drops off in all directions. I'm waiting on Ben to get here. Hopefully his launch is going well. Uh, he'll be coming from Somewhere right here. I don't hear anything quite yet. He was waiting for the wind to die down. It's so quiet. There he is. This is so epic. We both flew from different locations. Woo! Well, howdy, partner. Isn't this an amazing spot? Holy smoke. Yeah. Surreal. Camp will be. Yeah, this is crazy. So we're both just unpacking right now. He's taking some of his stuff out. I'll kind of show you what I brought. But uh, yeah, I got this, uh, I got the tent right here, which has a footprint rain fly and also Eno rain fly to put on top of my paramotor some tools, thermometer. I uh, got down to 
32.9 degrees on that flight. Uh, we got toothbrush, coffee. I just threw my toothbrush on a cow patty. Emergency beacon. Hot. Camping French press. Make us some coffee in the morning. Some lights for the tent. Got tent stakes. Just a GoPro mount. Oven. I mean, stove that I've had since I'm 13, I mean. Two Velcro straps, random. Poop shovel. Stakes. I got an external battery here, which I'm gonna hook up to my GoPro because I think that, of course, died in the cold. I don't know if it got my landing. I got a little lighter, which has a little toolkit on it. And another charging cable. So I kind of overdid it on this trip with gear. Definitely showed me that I don't want to redo how I carry things actually I didn't really I'm, I'm not really a huge fan of front pack uh, backpack for flying anyways and then when you carry more gear like this is the biggest thing I've ever brought and I don't really it doesn't really work it did work but I don't like it that much it's hard to really reach and then I got water right here which kept freezing in flight but now it's good uh, so I'm gonna pull out the tent and set up while well, I still have some light uh, I'm just gonna shove my wing in the tent. So I kind of took the lazy route this time on uh, putting this Eno Rainfly on there because when I put it over the top, it doesn't cover well because the frame's so big. And I just went over the parts that I want to keep the dew off of. Actually worked a lot better this time and uh, less risk of it falling over like last time, but it is incredible out. Uh, we're about to uh, eat some food. He's getting his camp stove out and uh, it's all set up. You really don't realize how big your wing is until you decide to sleep with it. <laughs> Need to pull that in a little bit. Doing my classic in a pinch MREs or first strike rations, whatever you want to call them. These have more in them. Uh, and he, what are you doing, ramen or ramen? We got ramen. It's ramen. And I got some vegetables and some chicken, so. So it's not ramen? <laughs> I think it's ramen. <laughs> I used to always call it ramen, but I got corrected a lot and I've changed my ways. So it's about 8 p.m. and the thermometer just said 20 degrees. <laughs> so it's much colder than what was anticipated. Weather forecast was wrong, but hey, here we are eating very hard uh, bars and stuff from this first strike ration thingy. Because <laughs> everything is like, everything that's supposed to be like chewy is hard right now. It's absolutely gorgeous and quiet and still up here. Um, my hands are actually pretty cold just holding this phone out. Eat some more food and then probably bundle up here soon. I'm sleeping with my wing. beautiful morning out insanely beautiful I'm getting a time-lapse right now with the motor and sunrise I think it's about 15 minutes prior to sunrise I'm gonna start uh, getting some coffee right here and make my coffee behind the GoPro uh, Ben still in bed I guess there is probably like a two mile an hour breeze and it is just silent up here can only hear the raven right now.
I know, it's crazy. Do you like coffee? Yeah, but I'll get some when I land. You want this one? Or really? do you, no, yeah. You made enough for two? Wow. Yeah. Thank you, Elena, for the coffee. Uh, made it in the Aero Press, basically a French press for camping. Nice and lightweight. It's pretty good. On a scale of uh, one top, you have no choice of what you get to drink up here. How's this coffee? Oh, it's a 10. It's a 10. A 10 out of you have no choice. It's very good. Of course, anytime you're in a beautiful natural area like this, always pack in, pack out your gear. And if you find any other garbage, which there's a little bit here, we'll make sure to take that with us and leave it better than when we found it. He's gonna fly a gyrocopter, landing right there, and we're gonna siphon the fuel out of that bad boy for me. Holding our wings, getting a little prop blast from the gyrocopter. Now we're gonna siphon here so I can make sure I have enough fuel to get back. I burned a lot more than I expected on the way.
cue the you have nowhere to land remarks. Okay, you might have me on this one if my engine dies, but at least I have a ton of altitude to pick the best looking tree to dangle from as I call for help. Also, isn't it incredible that we can strap a two-stroke fan to our backs, launch from our grassy backyards, held up by an expensive set of strings and fabric to witness prehistoric behemoths in flight such as this? coming from the south so Mark's gonna come in downwind now and he's gonna line up and come land as close to the van as he can good little breeze all right bring it in to the landing the landing's down there south get it land off power right now if I wanted to but I'm gonna utilize it Sink, God, he hit sink. <laughs> Gosh, you can tell the air's weird. He did awesome, though. Mm, what's the wind doing? Switched on him. Well, it was coming from the south, but that's what you get with midday. This thing is a gas guzzler. Thank you, Ben, for the fuel. Bear's sleeping. Let's see what Mark says about how his night went. How was it, cold? Uh, this wasn't so bad on the way back. Uh, it was yesterday cold, but one too bumpy until, I mean, I passed by Mount Mitchell <laughs> and it wasn't bad there, but after Mount Mitchell, I texted someone, I'm like, this, it's not, it's like pleasant right now. And then five minutes after that, it started getting thermally and crappy, especially when I had to cross over that big mountain right there. Huh. That's what really rocked me. And that's like half the height of Mount Mitchell. Wow. But yeah, so but it was a good flight though. Were you warm last night though? No, mm, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> but on, and then on this landing, like this is a weird bowl we're in and like it kind of was a headwind, but it's so switchy that I just was like, I'm not gonna outrun this wing and I just let it fall. And right now you can see it's actually tail, it's lifting it up. Yeah, it was really tricky. strong from the south it's at first. It's a spot right here. Yeah, I mean, it's still great because it's so close to home though. Yeah, it's really not great for like, midday. Launching with a lot of gear because I kept having to walk back and forth in the field. Oh, uh, that stinks. Yeah. Well, you made it. Yep. Whee. If it's like propellers, I'm having a hard time. There it is. Dude, it came right over the top of the mountain. <laughs> 